Hey everyone, so we decided to go take a ride somewhere a little bit different. This is about three hours from home. It's called Taylor Park. It's up here in Colorado, way up in the mountains. There's a ton of trails that head off. We're actually gonna head up into a big trail over here. Uh, you can drive on this like pass. It's called Cumberland Pass over to Tin Cup. There's a mirror lake up there. So it's about midday. We finally got up here. So we're gonna try to go ride in for a couple hours and we'll need to be able to ride back before it gets too dark. Stuff like that. April's getting the little boom box that we use for some music. Uh, can-ams ready to go we actually threw this new top on here so we have a little bit of shade that thing's been pretty pretty sweet first time using it but it was super easy to put on and then we have our little picnic stuff some drinks food everything else and then some other stuff in here uh jump pack just in case tire repair kit we grabbed a few things just in case we get stranded up here so here we go go for some riding all right let's yeah, hit the uh hit the trail yeah this should be it's perfect weather it's like 70 some degrees it's beautiful up here there's a big lake or reservoir, whatever they call it right there. So we are actually gonna head up probably where a bunch of these people are going, head up the road and see what we can find. I can't hear much. It's pretty loud in our side by side, but we're headed up the trail here. So about five, ah, maybe 10 minutes up the road, we're in Tin Cup. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer looking at the map. I really didn't know. So we're just up here to see and where we're at. But super, super pretty little town, like just up here in the mountains. Can and this little lake, little house. We got some little restaurants up here. People are in their side by sides up there and over there. So just, just super old, like ghost town-ish type of a thing up here. Uh, I guess this almost turns into kind of a ghost town during the winter from what I heard because the snow and everything it's hard to get into it But uh, yeah, super neat little town look around here in the town for just a little bit I got to find my strap up again, I guess and uh, then we'll head down the road About 20 minutes in and now we're here at Mirror Lake. This is pretty cool, huh? It's a neat ride. The, ro the road up is rough. I mean, on side by side, no big deal. If you're in a truck, like some of them guys come down in trucks, it might beat it up a little bit, but, uh, so check this out. So super pretty, just, it's called Mirror Lake. If you guys wanna try to come find this place at some point. Uh, and if you ever do, let us know in the comments that you came and found it. But, uh, yeah, so just, cruising along learning a whole new area to ride huh mm -hmm. this is definitely different like not trying to go fast you're just just, cruise. just cruising up through here just enjoying the day and it's pretty calming actually so we might uh keep going i think this trail keeps going right down this right here right along the lake so actually i remember looking on a colorado side-by-side -side group and they said that the lake was so high that actually it blocked the trail off. So I guess it can get so high that it can come over the side of this right here, which is pretty crazy. So I think we'll look at our map and keep going. And right now we're just cruising kind of over this little bit rougher terrain. It's like five to 10 mile an hour just cruising. And you know, it's a little tight, so you kind of have to tuck over, let some people pass, and you get back out. Right now we'll wait for a couple of these uh, FJs to come by and then we'll, we'll go over this little patch. You guys can probably see him coming over the hill right there. Decent little rock area right here. Ew. <laughs> the lake right there. Little lake. Try to get to an open area here, hopefully. See where we should have another tire. Some big rocks like that have been the sidewall. Look at that 
damn view though. Uh, what do you think? A lot of rocks. A lot of rocks up through here. Definitely a rocky, uh, a rocky path. I think I got a headache. <laughs> Bouncing you around. But I really like it. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful up here. We didn't know what to expect with it, so. Definitely like we're used to kind of ripping around near home and this is more of a uh, slow crawl, so it's pretty cool. This will be the summit of Tin Cup Pass, is what they would call this here. So we'll uh, check it out. Looks like you can even crawl up the hills and stuff a little bit here, but we'll uh, just check it out. Probably head back this way. It's already, it's midday now, so might make it back a ways, eat some lunch, and then continue on from there. But we'll, uh, check it out and hang out for a few minutes. Uh, but way up here, so that's where we came from, came up into here top and then you have down that side so pretty neat here is the Dillo Tin Cup Pass top of that elevation you guys can see that 12,184 foot Pacific Ocean that way Atlantic Ocean that way pretty neat look at you look at you we're gonna cruise over the lake eat some lunch hang out so now we're back down I think that was about yeah, it's a little about, it's 310 right now, so we left about noon, so it's about a three hour loop to go up to the top and back down, and now we're back at the lake. Did you go get our chairs? So, we got our sandwich snacks by the lake here. Uh, again, I'm not sure if it's Taylor Park, Taylor Reservoir, but if you look up Taylor Park, Colorado, that's where you'll end up, is right where we're sitting. A uh, good little drop spot right by what they call the trading post. Some of this stuff's kind of hard to find unless you're in groups, and some you only find certain information, all that stuff. But what did you think of the ride? I think it was really awesome. It was a gorgeous ride. Super pretty up here. Super slow ride. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of quick to get up into like Tin Cup, and then it's definitely coming slow once down, you start crawling up through there. Yeah, coming back down I think was a lot quicker, but it seems like when you're climbing up, it's always slower than coming back down. It felt like a quick trip, which I mean, we put like probably an hour and a half up, an hour and a half back. So it was like a three hour ride total. Mm -hmm. um, you could definitely come up here and like launch off in the morning at like eight or nine and go make a five or six hour loop. Oh yeah, easy. for sure. Easy, easy. Because we wanted to actually, I, I didn't know how long it would take or where we'd get. If you kept going down where we ended up at the top of that tin cup pass, you'd end up in St. Elmo. And then I think there's like a loop and everything. So uh really pr pretty neat out here and uh, there's there's uh there's trails that head out from here in different directions as well so the one we went on is not even close to only trail there and then there's a little trail that goes along the highway you can jump over the lake you can go back over to your campgrounds and parking areas and everything so pretty neat little place definitely somewhere you can come spend two three days and ride around and never never hit the same trail twice and go check out a bunch of different stuff or hang out by the lake and stuff like that so we're gonna eat and uh probably get out of here cow's day to the lake they're just out here hanging out by the lake <laughs> there's a ton of them all the way up the hill all the way over there 
there's more, you know, it's just open range. They're kind of a little bit everywhere in this area. just kind of ripping around we there's a little trail that goes right next to the lake that brings you over to the other side of it so we just decided to come check out that area and uh, see what's over here so then maybe next time we come up we know some more trails to kind of head out on super dusty right now Alright everyone, so that is it for a quick trip up to Taylor Park. Pretty good, uh, pretty good ride actually. There's definitely some more trails that go along and then head out the other way. And I think next time we come up, that's my will That might be what we do. So what'd you think? It was awesome. Pretty good time. Okay. Pretty good ride. Do it again, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely be coming up again. So like we said, this one's about three and a half hours, about three, I guess three hours from home for us to come up and ride. So kind of have to plan it out, make it a day to two day deal at least. Um, so yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed another side-by-side -side video. If you guys want to see some more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.